It's springtime and there's nothing better than cleaning your house, tidying things up a bit, and making everything smell nice. In the spirit of that, here are five quick tips for cleaning up your video workflow. Tip number one and the easiest one is use cable ties to wrap your video cables and use zip ties to mark which ones are yours. If you don't use cable ties, you'll just end up with something like this and you'll be tripping all over the place. It feels so much better to wrap things nicely and have them organized. Here's an example of a nicely zip tied cable and wrapped cable. And you can see anytime we take this on a job with us and if we're working with other production companies or departments, we're able to actually identify that this is ours by the blue zip tie marker. Here's a real hot tip. If you do end up with a cable like this, which this actually happened, and it's a nice warm day in the spring, go ahead and take that cable and stretch it out over your driveway or the sidewalk and just let it sit there. And it'll actually help to work out some of the kinks and it'll make it a lot easier to wrap. Tip number two, clear your memory cards of old footage that's already backed up. There's nothing better than having a fresh memory card to start shooting with. For backing up your old footage, we love using lacy drives like this, which are especially good for people like me because they've got this nice rubber padding and you can just Oops. drop them anywhere. Josh! <laughs> they don't break. Tip number three, Marie Kondo your video or studio space and get rid of all that gear that no longer gives you joy. It always just feels great to sell or toss any gear that no longer contributes to you making better video content. This doesn't even work anymore and I can't record on it anyway. This is an RCA, I don't know, RCA interface of some sort. I don't even really know what it does, so, okay. That's this I bought eight years ago in college. It's like a shoulder mount thing, but I've never actually done anything with it, so that's gone. <laughs> but you get the point. Tip number four, organize your gear into cases. Hard cases like this and small cases like this. This is actually just meal prep boxes that we buy for specific types of gear. So everything that we have for the box caster, for example, we just put in this box and so on. Bonus tip. Get your life together and organize your bags. This is supposed to be a camera bag, but there's a t-shirt, there's, there's hard drives everywhere, there's cables we probably don't even use. I think it just needs cleaned up. Tip number five, and this one's for you, BoxCast streamers. Delete any test or private broadcasts you have in your dashboard. Clean them up to save space and make your archive page look better. And the easiest way you can do this, actually go down in your archives page and click on list view to see all of your broadcasts at once, and that'll help you check each one and delete them. And that's it. So we've got our own studio space to clean up now, but let us know what you guys do in the comments below to clean up your video workflow. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.